Welcome back everyone. Very excited to bring you second place battle from the Junior International Tournament. This is with Saigeki uh, from Japan. And let's see what Saigeki is going to bring to this battle here. We're going to see my standard setup of Chandelier Amoongus. And he's going to bring out Bangrosu, or Tyranitar, and Meow Stick. So let's see what happens here. I'm now, I normally have my setup where I'm trying to Rage Powder and I try to do um, Trick Room. Sometimes you got to go against what you normally do. Uh, if you see an opportunity to take out a Pokemon early on in a setup like this. I know Meowstick can cause a lot of shenanigans. My career just fakes out. Uh, so I really want to try to take out this Meowstick before I can do any type of um, dam detrimental damage to me. So um, I'm going to get the Dark Tyrant to get Dark Pulse off of me. But I'm going to get for, go straight for a Shadow Ball, take out this Meowstick before it has any other chance to do any type of shenanigans with... Uh, anything that the Meowstic does with safeguards or light screens or reflects or whatever other thing is it has to pull with its prank, um, prankster ability. Uh, so that's probably going to take out my Chandelier most likely because I have 23 health left. I know Tyranitar has access to Rock Slide. I am going to Rage Powder to sacrifice uh, Amoongus just in case it goes for their adult Dark Pulse. Um, but this Brave Bird is easily going to take out uh, Amoongus, but at the cost of taking um, taking. Talonflame down to about half health after recoil damage, and plus I get Effect Spore off, so that's going to be awesome. Paralyze it, but still with Priority Brave Bird, it's still going to go first, so you just have to determine whether it's going to be uh, paralyzed from the get-go or not. So like I said, it does bring it down to below half, actually, with all the, um, with the Rocky Helmet damage added in, plus the Hail damage that's coming in. And there's the Rock Slide that I predicted to come, so I kind of misplayed that there. Um, the is gone, so I have no, no assist from Trick Room this battle. I should have probably predicted the rock slide that second turn. I should have just uh, you know, done something else, but um, like maybe uh, protected the chandelier and then uh, maybe try to put Tyranitar to sleep, but that Talon Flame would have just, just killed me anyway. So I have a bomb of snow and red barrier, so I got the sandstorm away, got my hail up. Now I'm going to protect without Mega Evolving, just in case my opponent tries to switch out Tyranitar and switch it back in to get the sandstorm back up. So I'm going to uh, double protect here. I'm not going to get anything, uh, I mean, I'm going to protect with Obama Snow. I'm going to try to get some sort of damage off with Rhyphiria, because I know that Brave Bird would do nothing against Rhyphiria. So I Ice Beam from Tyranitar, which is strange, onto Rhyphiria. Across my weakness policy, it's easily going to take out Talonflame. Brings Tyranitar down to about half health. Um, so it looks like it's a mixed Tyranitar, which is very strange. Usually it's either all-out attack or all-out special attack, so it's very strange to see a mixed Tyranitar. So, um, get some hail damage off, but now I feel a little bit better about this because that Talon Flame is gone, and I have a Guard Chomp as my opponent now, even, so that's going to make it, things even better my way here. So, I'm going to Mega Evolve finally. Now that I know that the opponent's on the last two Pokemon, there's no way you can switch out. So, the hail's going to stay. I'm going to have Rhyphiria to protect this time just so I can kind of try to avoid any type of damage. But now I'm going to get a Rock Slide off from Guard Chomp. So, the Rock Slide from Guard Chomp is going to take me down to about half. About half health, and then Rock Slide from Tyranitar, and that Rock Slide's gonna probably kill me. I don't know, it's gonna be kind of close, and it takes me down to eight health. Oh my god, I survived with eight health. I get the Blizzard off, and it takes out Ty takes out Tyranitar, and it takes out Garchomp. But actually, Tyranitar survives, but I don't care because the Hail's gonna quickly faint it, and it is gone. So that was awesome. There, I didn't faint, and more importantly, I didn't flinch. As I mean, the flinch is thirty percent per Pokemon, so that would be like a 60% chance to flinch right there. And I still got the attack off, so awesome battle there. Got the double rock slide, still got the blizzard off. That was just amazing. That was that turn there made this battle worthy of being number two. So there's only one battle left. Um, let's see what the number one battle can be. I mean, what can top a double rock slide, non-flinch blizzard? I mean, let's see what happens. Thanks, guys.